All eyes are on the Manhattan courthouse where the first of four criminal cases against former President Trump has begun, likely the only one to wrap up before November's election. Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg accuses former President Trump of trying to undermine the integrity of the 2016 election by suppressing negative information with alleged hush money payments to an adult film star. Trump maintains his innocence. It's a case that should have never been brought. It's an assault on America, and that's why I'm very proud to be here. This is an assault on our country. The entire trial is expected to last up to eight weeks, with the former president expected to be there four days per week. Even before the jury selection began Monday, Judge Juan Mershon made some key decisions, among them refusing the Trump legal team's request that Mershon recuse himself from the case. The defense pointed to consulting work that the judge's daughter has done for prominent Democrats, including President Biden. The judge also decided the prosecution may not play that infamous Access Hollywood tape for jurors, but will allow testimony from model and actress Karen McDougal, who says she had an affair with Trump and was paid by the National Enquirer to keep quiet. Jury selection usually only lasts a day or two, but in this case, where hundreds of potential jurors are being considered for 12 spots, it could stretch through the end of the month. Here's former U.S. Attorney John Fishwick. Each side will be looking to have folks remain on the jury that they think are favorable to their side. Uh, the judge will have to make a decision on which jurors are already made up their mind. This is a real battle for each side to get folks that they want that at least on the surface appear favorable to their side. Just added to the calendar, next week Wednesday, Judge Mershon will hold a hearing on the prosecution's new motion to fine Trump for some of his latest posts on Truth Social in which he disparages witnesses despite a gag order. In Washington, I'm Atrel Mishar.